Hey there, YouTubers. Thanks for tuning in. This is Excel VBA is fun. I'm your host, Daniel Strong. I want to show you a cool trick. It's called using the status bar here to display whatever in the world you want. So that way, it's a little less intrusive than, uh, you know, a message box that does this and goes ding in your ear. And then, you know, it, it you have to fish around for the X or the OK button or you have to hit enter. And it just gets in the way. You can't click on your stuff. Well, that message box has popped up. So it's a little intrusive. It's informative, but it's intrusive. So uh, we did all that with a VLOOKUP in the last video. But what we want to do now, whoops, what we want to do now is pop that information down here in the status bar so that um, if people are trained to look down there, especially, um, they can find out what they want to know. But they can still click around and keep on doing what they're doing without having to click OK a million times a day. So let's experiment with that just a little bit. I, what I want to do is, as I'm clicking, I want it to find whatever row number I'm on and automatically check out the first column of that row and plop in the information all about that product. Um, on the status bar just for fun. I mean, this is especially helpful if you have a database that's, oops, especially helpful if you have a database that's like, you know, 150 columns wide and you only wanted to know like four or five different columns worth of data, but they're scattered, you might want to use this feature. So that way when you're scrolling around, you can see what you want to know in the status bar. Or you could bring up a user form that had labels that automatically updated every time you click. Let's just try this in the status bar for now. Alt F11 is where we begin. Okay, so what we're going to do for our new procedure, we're going to call this sub... <clears throat> we'll call it VLOOKUP status bar. Okay, hit enter. And now we're in our new procedure. What are we going to say first? We're going to say... Um, so we need to get, first, like I said, we need to get the, uh, selection row. So, um, <laughs> so selection.row is what we need to get. Uh, we can put that into a variable, which is called sr. sr equals selection.row. Fair enough, okay. So then we've got the row. We always want to use column one, so we're actually kind of good to go. Let's say, um, uh, uh, goodness, what we're going to say, application dot status bar. That's how we get stuff shoved down here. Application dot status bar equals. And this is kind of what we did in the message box. Instead of the message box, we'll just shove it in the status bar down here in the gray area. Equals. And then um, we could say, well, let's uh, let's fill up some variables again. In fact, I'm going to go here and just control F, and I'm going to find that really quick. Uh, there it is. Let's just copy and paste some of this. This is already really good stuff. I don't want to have to reinvent the wheel. Control C. And we'll uh, control shift F2 and see if we can get, there we are, get back to the pre one of the previous screens we've been on. That's a cool tip too. Control shift F2 will take you backwards a few steps. Control shift F2, 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 F2. Anyway, pretty cool. So what we'll do is we'll save the application.status bar for last. Control V, we're pasting some stuff here. So instead of range E6 is what we're V looking up as the my product thing, what we're going to do is we're going to take the selected row number and <coughs> and shove that column one of that row as, as my product. So my product instead of E6 right here is now going to be cells, what's the row? It's SR, whatever the selected row is, comma, column one. Every, always going to be in column one, which is A. So we've already got everything else contingent upon whatever my prod is. So they're already V looking up accurately. We already have our message box set up. My goodness, we're ready to go. Don't worry. Um, let's just take this application dot status bar. Control X that cups it, cuts it. Control V after I double click on that to paste it there. So application dot status bar equals this drive here. 
So, my goodness, let's just try it. Um, and actually, instead of having the sub VLOOKUP status bar, probably should just shovel this stuff in a worksheet change. Or a selection change. Um, let's just go back to worksheet selection change. And, uh, we can, we can certainly put some limitations to that, but we won't do it in this video. But you could do something like, you know, if it's within the range of A, A2 through, like, A1000 or something, then run this macro. But in this case, we'll just run it no matter what. So every time it changes, instead of selection.row, we'll say target dot row because we can see target is the range that we selected. Okay, selected range is target dot row. All this stuff falls into place. Let's just try it. I'm going to click here. Oh my gosh, did you see what happened at the bottom? Product number SL409 is product 2 added on 3-8-2002 and is active. Let me click here. Buffalo meat. Product 9. So you can see if I hit up, if I hit down, it takes the row, which is 14, and takes the first column of that and V looks it up in the second, third, and fourth column. That's pretty sweet, huh? Yeah, I like that. It's informative but non intrusive, unlike a message box, which is kind of annoying. Wow, I'm going to scroll way down to like right here. Bam! AK863 is product 92, added on 115 2008, is inactive. Wow, if you hover over that, it even repeats it for some reason. So that's, that is totally sweet. That is totally sweet. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope that helps somebody. Pardon the vacuuming in the background. <laughs>